I'm nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Love me when I'm broke. Don't love me when I got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. I'm here. I, I tell you, I, 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 I like that Philadelphia love. Amen? Yeah. To God be the glory. See, we're not talking about the love. See, we got to put love back in the church. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We got to put love in the church. Amen? Uh, the battle over our church is love. Hallelujah. And I like you. I like the name of this church. Well, that's why I was excited. When you see love, yeah. you know that God is in it. Yeah. Yeah. How many of you that God is in it? Yeah. God is love. Yeah. That's his character. Hallelujah. He can't be anything else but love. Right. Right. Hallelujah. He, 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 love is all he is. You can't have love and hate in the same Come person. On, Amen. We love sometimes and hate other times, but God is love all the time. When you act it up, God is love. When you don't love him, God is love. Your action toward God can't change who God is. Ain't that good to know? Somebody need to give God some praise. No matter how much you act up, you can't change who God is. Hallelujah. God's going to love you anyway. God's going to love you so much, you know, want you to straighten yourself out. Yeah. I don't know about you. I want to step out of the darkness. Yeah. Yes. I want to be able to people say that you love somebody. Yes. I want people to see my love. Amen. Amen. Don't look at what I've been about. Don't look at how much money I have. Don't look at the That's car right. I drive. Look at the fact that I love. Come on now. Amen. Amen. I want to be, I want my love to be like the honey. <laughs> the draws, hallelujah. I want to draw some bees. <laughs> hallelujah. I want to draw some saints. I want people to know that I do love. Hallelujah. I don't know all of you, but I know because of the fact that you are children of the most high God, I love you. Why do I love you? It's easy because God loves you. Come on now. And I don't, I don't think God loves in the trash. God don't love garbage. Hallelujah. Tell somebody God loves me. God loves me. Now tell somebody say God loves you. God loves you. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we give God some praise. Hallelujah. The word of God said, you tear it with me to uh, 1 John. Now I like 1 John because 1 John talks about love. Yeah. Amen. Now if anybody knows about love, it should be John. Because the word of God says to charm the disciple that Jesus loved. Hallelujah. Yeah. And so John is qualified to write about love. Yeah. How many of you that John is qualified? Yeah. Amen. John is so qualified, he wrote the, the gospel of John. He wrote first, second, and third John, and he wrote Revelation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I want you to understand, before you leave the day, I want you to understand about love. You cannot fake love. Amen? You can't be fake people out by love. See, when it comes to God, a God can love, God love. You can start to love that like, honey, I love you. Baby, I love you so much. I climb the highest mountain and I swim the deepest ocean. And I come over to see if it's not raining. <laughs> Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> I, I want y'all to laugh. Because I mean, when you leave here, I want you to feel different. Amen? Amen. When you go back to your home, I want you to feel different. Yeah. Say, something made me feel different. I, I, I brought a load on me. I came in here with a load of bills and all this other things, but I'm, I'm free. Yeah. I ain't got no bounds on me, no chains holding me. Hallelujah. Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. The word of God says, brother, I write no new commandment. Yeah. Hallelujah. Second John. Hallelujah. First, first, uh, first John chapter 2. He said, uh, verse 7 said, brother, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment. Yeah. Now, John going to seem sound like it's kind of confusing. Amen? He said, which ye had what? From the beginning. The old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, verse 8 says, again, a new commandment I write unto you. Which thing is true in him and in what you, because the darkness is past and the true light is now shining. Amen. 
Tell somebody the light is shining. Tell somebody I'm stepping out of darkness. See, it's your love that's going to make you step out of darkness. Hallelujah. That's why you got to love somebody. If you don't love somebody, you can I hate people, you got to stay in darkness. Uh -uh. He that says, he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. Yeah. Yeah. He that loveth his brother abides in the light and there is no occasion of stumbling yeah. in him. Yeah. You can't stumble when you love. Thank you, you can't stumble when you're in the light. Hallelujah. But he that hated his brother yeah. is in darkness yeah. and walketh in darkness. Not only you're in, in darkness, but you're walking in darkness. What you mean by what do you mean, Pastor, by our walking in darkness? Walking is your lifestyle. You live in a lifestyle of darkness. You live in a lifestyle of hatred. You, you can't get along with nobody. Jesus. If you hate the if you belong to the Bride of Christ Church ministry and hate people, come on, somebody. Come on now. Jesus. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Church, we got to get it together. Yeah. I know y'all politicians, you know, all the politics and everything, but your president ain't going to be able to bring love into the church. Oh, say it. Say it. If my people, my people, are you God people? Are you God? If my people who are called by my name, I will themselves seek my face. Hand me a I will heal the land. This land is healed of, of hatred. Yeah. Every day I wake up, somebody to kill, even to kill the family, or somebody to kill the police. Every day is kill, kill, kill. Killing people because they don't know who they are from God's perspective. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the word of God said that I'm made in the image of likeness of God. You are made in the image of likeness of God. Hallelujah. That means I don't need no pictures hanging on the wall. I don't need no uh, all these other things. I don't need no standing. I look at you and see God. Amen. Amen. That's why you have to get your life together. That's why you have to show love. Because when I, 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 I see you, I should see Jesus. When the Romans and when the, the Babylonians, they, they were all went into an area and captured the area. They would put up statues. And when they put up those statues, they would know, people would know that who ruled that area. That's Caesar. This must be Caesar's territory. God did not have to put up. He said, don't make it a great difference to me because you are all over the place. Everywhere you look, you should see him. Every character, every spot and ground, people should know it belongs to the Lord because you, you are his, uh, made in his image and after his likeness. Yeah. I hope you understand that. You got to conduct yourself at a point that the people know that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Yeah. That Jesus is in charge of your life. Right. Hallelujah. There's no other God besides God. My God and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And there was a story in the Bible that says that Philip uh, was with uh, talking to Jesus one day. And Philip asked, Jesus told Philip, say, I'm going away. <laughs> he said, I'm going to he, he said, he said, show us the Father. Oh, what, a, what, a, what a thing to ask Christ. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Pastor Christ will look at him and say, is, it, is, is this a guy following me and ask these kind of questions? Show us the Father. Bill, how can you ask me to show you the Father? How long have you been walking with me? You've been eating with me. You've been you had everything. You should look at me and see the Father. Yeah, yeah. I preached a message to the church on Wednesday. I said, see me, see my Father. I can just about tell them a lot of you, some of you because I can look at you and tell what your father did. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's why we have to be watch our conduct because of the fact that people can tell a lot about us. Amen. Yes. 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 I hope you can see me and tell I had a pretty good father. <laughs> oh, somebody. I call my earthly father. My heavenly father is perfect. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Everything that God made is perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got to tell somebody I'm perfect. Yeah.
Since you made a good stuff, the world needs to know about your good stuff. Yeah. Oh, Philadelphia loves. See, 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 God had John, the Holy Spirit, the Ruhak, Hakadesh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Mighty God, appeared to John on the Isle of Patmos. Amen? And began to instruct John to write some things. And what he had John write was very unique because what he had, he gave John a picture of the church of today. Yes. Yes. Now you're talking about you're talking about revelation, you're talking about prophecy. He gave him an idea, a picture of today's church. He said that was a church called in Ephesus. Amen. Yes. That church was a loveless church. That church had no love at all. Yes. I don't know about you. I, I've been to some church, there ain't no love in there. Yes. Yes. Amen. But if I go to the church and I don't see no love in the field, no love in guess what? I get out of there. Yeah, right. and I, I do an early exit, amen? You got to know how to get out. I even told Brother Christ, my church, I said, anytime I come there and give me the peace of you and the Holy Spirit ain't there, I'll get out of there. <laughs> Y'all got to get somebody else to preach that day. I'm out. <laughs> if the Holy Spirit ain't in it, I ain't stand. I ain't no fool. <laughs> you gotta listen to the spirit. You gotta listen to the spirit of God. Jesus died on the cross for you, hallelujah. So that you can love people. He died, it was unconditional love. It's a love that he gave his life for you. Amen. Now, he didn't leave you confidence. He left you a spirit. He said, I'm going to leave you the spirit, my spirit, who will lead and guide you into all truth. Amen. You can't fool me and lie to me because I put the Holy Spirit on you. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. I, I'm just so blessed. Amen. I'm a blessed man. Amen. Good family, good church, good. I like good everything. Amen. Amen. Good, good, good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's that beautiful lady right there. That's my wife. Amen. And she is a preacher. She can preach a. Yes. Uh. Yes, she is. <laughs> man, am I blessed? Not, not many people can sit down here, the, the wise minister to them. To God be blessed. Every time you preach, I'm blessed. Amen. 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 And that's not no lukewarm love I got for her. Right. Amen. I got a deep passionate love. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Now unto him who's able to do it. Dr. Fields, rain, cold weather can temper my, my coffee, yeah. but she can call it off. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I want y'all, I, I, I made a decision. I'm stepping out of the darkness. How many going to step out of the darkness with me? How many going to love somebody? See, yeah. I don't want no phony stuck up people. Hallelujah. I know that's right. Church folks so holy. Yeah. Ooh, have somebody, Lord Jesus. Come on. And church folks tell me how 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 <laughs> how holy they are, and I go to get some gas. I see them in the lottery lab. One minute they said they love Jesus, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And the next thing I see in the lottery lab. God ain't putting out no nothing in the lottery lab. So you might as well get out. 
the way, the way you open the windows of heaven so you can pour out a blessing that you can't receive. It's a tie. Come on now. Amen? Amen. One thing I know about God, God is not a greedy God. God's only asked for 10%. And he been asked for 10% for a whole lot of years. He had no increase. But God has not come short of his blessing. That window is still open. Hallelujah. If you want a blessing from God, you want a blessing from a loving God, pay your time to watch God open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. That's too big. You cannot receive it. Pastor, I'm, I'm, I'm running over time. Oh. I don't see no clock or nothing. <laughs> 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 Got to come out of that darkness. And they say they had a church in Samaria. Samaria was a a, 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 a church that uh, uh, was persecuted. Amen? Yes. Some churches today being persecuted. Amen? Yes. Yes. Don't, don't be always going. If you're doing the right thing, you're going to be persecuted. Yes. Amen? A persecuted church is usually a church that's doing the right thing. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're not doing the right thing, you don't want to mess with you. My, do my dad told me back in South Carolina all the time, I said, boy, nobody kicks a dead dog. <laughs> if you ain't doing nothing, nobody going to bother you. <laughs> if you ain't about nothing, ain't about going to be about you. That's right. That's right. But when you're doing something progressive, yes. get ahead, trying to do something positive, people going to mess with you. Yes, Tell it. Don't, don't count it bad, count it good. Yeah. When people get your attention, it's time to trip you up to what you're doing. You must be doing something right. Come on, yeah. Yeah. And each time they try to trip you up, don't play the devil. It's that devil in that person. Oh, Jesus. I don't give the devil no credit. Come on now. I don't hang out with him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Too many saints like to hang out with the devil. Satan is Satan. No. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. I fly my nine nine, my nine nine, I hit a bad shot. Man, you hit a bad shot. <laughs> Say they had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I, oh man, I missed that putt. Oh, we know how this fast. I missed that putt. Yeah. Hey, Satan made me no. Satan, Satan, I did not break Satan out on the golf course. I did not pay his. <laughs> I did not pay his greedy fees. No, that's right. Woo! Tell it, baby. I'll see God be the glory. I, I, I don't take it with me. Amen? I don't travel with me. I travel with the spirit of living God. Amen? Y'all y'all want to stop bothering you? Stop letting it ride with you. Amen? Take him too many paces with you. Then you come back and Pastor, <laughs> Pastor, the devil bothered me. Well, why are you hanging out with him? <laughs> Stop hanging out with the joker. The Bible said what? Resist him. The greatest way to resist the devil is love. No, they ain't gonna hang around love. He's a he's a father of hatred. Amen. He never. He is not. And will never be the father of love. He, you want him. If you want hate, go to him. But you want love to go to Jesus. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. How many know? How, how many know that Jesus lives? Hallelujah. He lives. That's why we can go through it. Any trial, anything to come upon us, Jesus lives. Hallelujah. That's why you can get through the period when people hate you. You got God on your side. Yes, Lord Jesus. There's no greater love. A love that will lay down the life for you. You don't come any better than that. Hallelujah. You got to get out of that darkness. How can you say that you love God? How can you say that you love God who you never seen? And hate your brother who you've seen. Who's aid me that made in the similitude of God. Who made in the image of likeness of God. Yet you say I love God, yet you hate your brother. Tell somebody that's a lie. Amen. There were two some kids on the porch and they were drinking juice. Amen. 
And the guy came up and said, what y'all drinking? He said, we drinking some juice. He said, what you He said, God gave it to us. He said, God? He said, yes, God. He said, God. He said, where is your God? They said, our God is up there. He said, your God is up there. He said, our God is up in heaven. It says, your God is up in heaven. How do you know that's a God? Can you see your God? They said, no. Can you touch your God? They said, no. Well, how do you, how do you know that's a God? He said, we don't know that's a God. Guys, said, I'm a professor. He said, the science said that if you can't see it, if you can't touch it, it's no, you know, it doesn't exist. So I'm the professor. I'm going to tell you, since you can't see it or touch it, there's no God. Kids thought about that. And they said, he's going to say, professor. They said, yes. He said, how do you know there's no God? He said, because my sense. I have sense, common sense. They say, well, the kid says, sir, professor, where's your sense? He said, up here. <laughs> he said, can you see your sense? <laughs> no. Can you touch your sense? No. He said, that Pat, I profess that means you ain't got no sense. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I when, when they say there's a church of Sardis, it's a, a th 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 it's a church that's a corrupt church. How many of you have corrupt churches today? Oh, yeah. Man, oh, yeah. People go do anything, church will do anything for the money. Come Amen? on now. Boy, you, uh, whack, you the way the grand in front of them, they do anything. Amen? Yes. Amen? Come on, somebody. Yes. And they say there's a church of Sardis, it was a dead church. Yes. Have you ever walked into a dead church? Yes. Amen? Can't stay here. It's a dead church. Church is dead than the mortuary. Amen. Uh, quiet, nobody saying, nobody happy. No. It's a dead church. Ain't no word coming out of it. Amen. Tell us it's a dead church. Dead church. Hallelujah. And there's a there's a, a church called Philadelphia. It's a faithful church. And that's what God is looking for, a faithful church. Hallelujah. God told the church in Philadelphia, he says, he says I, 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 I put a door before you. Hallelujah. And he said, that door, no man can close. When you love God, have the love of God, God will open doors for you. And ain't nobody going to be able to close the door. Tell somebody, you can't close my door. You can't close my door. He said, I did it because you, you were faithful. You loved me. You loved my commandment. When you obey God, God will open some doors for you. You got to love as God loves. Oh, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Uh -uh. And I'm blessed. I, you know, we go. We just got a. We were in the whole month of uh, November in Uganda. Oh. Amen. Wow. And uh, your know, pastor was so kind as to come and minister in my absence. Amen. Amen. And the church really enjoyed you. Amen. They still talking about you, my brother. Amen. Amen. So I thank you for that. You know, it's a it's a blessing that I can trust you to come to my church. You can trust me to come to your church. Some, I don't trust everybody to come to my church, amen? Oh, they get preaching some crazy stuff, amen? amen? But I thank God that we have that relation that we can do that. Amen. And that's, our relationship is not about who we are, what we are. It's about the fact that we can love each other. Amen? amen? amen. Every time we see each other, we don't, I mean, it's a smile, it's a laugh. And that's what, my wife went to our little, little uh, uh, dinner, amen, banquet. And she said, y'all just laugh all the time. <laughs> Yes, we do. Amen? Amen. Laughing keeps the stress off you. Amen. How many love yourself? Anybody love yourself? Raise your hand if you love yourself. If you love yourself, you better get to laughing. That's right. Come on now. <laughs> the world try to, the devil try to kill you with the stress. That's love. Amen. He try to kill you. 
You got to act the thing on. He trying to mess you up. I ain't into that nobody mess me up. No demon in hell going to mess me up. But I know who I am in the, from the perspective of God's perspective. Amen? Amen. You got to learn who you are from God's perspective. Amen. When you know who you are, can't nobody tell you who you are. Yes. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm a child of a king. I'm a child of the most. I, my father got riches. I'm a rich kid. Boy, I tell you. Brother Love. And we got Brother Love is very serious. The word of God said that was a lawyer talking to Jesus one day. You know how lawyers are, man. You're talking to Jesus one day and asked Jesus about the commandments. He said, Which one of you is the greatest? He said, Which one do you think? He said, I shall love the Lord that God with all the heart, soul, and mind of the universe, and love that neighbor also. You say you did pretty good. <laughs> Why did you ask me if you knew that? <laughs> the lawyer tried to get on lawyer's track. He said, who is my neighbor? Mm. Come on, come on, come on. And Jesus said that that was a man coming from uh, Jerusalem to Jericho. Mm. And he's walking down from Jerusalem to Jericho. Some of you have been through from, Jer from Jerusalem to Jericho. Yeah. And as you were on your way to Jericho, some things came up against you. Woo! Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, somebody. Have you ever had some things come up against you? Why are you trying to get from Jerusalem, the house of God, to, Jer to, to, to Jericho? You know how God shut up Jericho? Jericho was the best place. Amen? Jer God had the people to defeat Jericho. They said, don't you ever try to start Jericho up again. Amen? He was cursed, Jericho. Jericho was so bad, so if you can't leave God, and go to a bad place. When you leave the house of God, you're going to hang out the wrong place, and faith's going to come up against you and attack you. Yes. 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 Say, come upon my Robert. <laughs> and the robbers beat him and, and wounded him. Hallelujah. And not only did they bring the deck for dead. That's right. And he ran down the street, and it said that the, that the man of God, the priest, came walking down the street. And he was walking down the street, he said, oh. I walked around. I can't be late. I got to go get an honorary. <laughs> I don't have time to help you. I got to get a, they wait to hear me. I'm so great. They wait to hear me. I don't have time to help you. <laughs> and then he said, the word of God said, that then he saw a Levite. These people have the word of God. The Levite, he's walking away from my love. He walked down the street and he said, ah. He walked away also. Yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, I got to start walking around people. That's Come on now. You don't show no love when you start walking around people. When you see them down and out, you can't walk around them. Come on now. Come on. Come on. And they said there was a man who, who was from Samaria. He was American. He was a no good person. He was a lowness of low. Can anything come out of good come out of something? No. I'm asking. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said that when he was walking down the street, he saw him. He stopped. He kneeled down and began to help the person. Hallelujah. He said that he wiped his wound. He, he cleaned his wounds. He bandaged him up. Not only did he do that, but he, he, he picked him up and put him on his horse. Put him on his animal. Come on, somebody. When you see him down around you, they might be dead, but sometimes you gotta give them a ride. Come on now. I know you don't have a mule or horse, but you got your car. <laughs> with the horsepower. <laughs> That's your horse with the horsepower. Oh, come on. And, and they, what he did, they said he took him to an end. Not only did he clean him up, not only did he give him a ride, but he put him in a place so he could stay. Yeah. And the way God said, it wasn't no cheap thing. He took out two denarii out of his pocket and gave it to the end. He kept it for a day, but he had to go. But he said, huh, here's some money. I want you to take care of him. And he gave him enough to last for 20 days. 
The man did not have to leave for 20 days. He could say that for 20 days. And he said, if, I, if there's more, when I come back, I'll, I'll pay you. What a demonstration of brother and love. What a demonstration of love. And he said, he said, and Jesus said, which of you, which of those do you think was show brother love? Who you think is your neighbor? Which one is your neighbor? You know, I used to think my neighbor was across the street. I used to think my, I used to say my next door neighbor. But when it comes to God, I learned that I have neighbors when I ride on the jet for 20 hours at 600 miles an hour. I got some neighbors. It's not the location. It's the people who are who are caring people. Yeah. And when you travel, you be caring people. I got I'm pretty sure I got the neighbors in here. Amen. Hi, neighbor. Because yeah. <laughs> I see some caring people in here. God is a good God. Yes, he is. Brotherly love. Yes. That agape love. Yes. That God, that love that will never change. On, yes. That love that will not. Uh, abandon you. Yes. You can't go to jail for love. Yes. There's no law against love. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, that's a, that's the most I have. I, if I, I might not have all the money I want, but I got. I, I, I sure have love. Lord, I have Christ in me. I got love. Amen. I bound in love. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope y'all love me enough to bite me back. <laughs> That's not a war with the car. <laughs> it's not a war with the car. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Rush him out of here. Amen. I I really had the joy of being with you. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you and every one of you coming out and supporting the men. The men did a wonderful job of putting this together. And I believe that. You know, it's one thing having the women to do this brotherly love, but when they have the men to do it. Amen. See, we have a conference, and what we do, we try to get the brothers together. Amen? We try to clean up the brothers for the sisters. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. All the sisters look for Boaz. <laughs> Oh, come on now, you know you look for Boaz. But in the story of Ruth, you gotta understand that Ruth was not looking for Boaz. Boaz was looking for Ruth. Hallelujah. You gotta be doing what God said, do it, and God's gonna see you on Boaz. When you look for a Boaz on your own, you wanna get a messed up person. You gonna thank God, but you can't get rid of God, you sent me this? Why, Lord, did you do that to me? 